This is a YouTube exclusive on release on a watch that is using technology that has never been used in the watch making world before. You're going to want to see this one. Hi guys, my name's Jason and I am your watch guy today. I have Aorus back in the studio today and it is an absolute pleasure to see what they've produced for Dubai Watch Week. That's when they're releasing it anyway. Their latest release to the Pro Pilot X line is probably the most scientifically executed dial I've ever seen in watchmaking. An incredible watch that you just have to see to believe it. Everything you need is linked below. Let's get into this review. This is the Aorus. Pro Pilot X, and this is their latest edition, the Caliber 400 Laser, packed with their new five day movement, coming with a 10 year warranty with this absolutely fantastic, incredible, I mean, awe inspiring Caliber 400 movement. I think I discussed the Caliber 400 when I had the Aquas Pro in. It's an incredible movement. Yes, it does mean that Aorus have stepped up their pricing to bring you an in-house movement. However, I think it is completely worth it. And you can definitely tell the effort that has been put into developing it. Speaking of a step up in pricing, this Pro Pilot in particular is a little bit more expensive than the usual models. It comes in at £4,050. It's going to be released on November 16th. I've had the absolute pleasure of having it on wrist for a few days before the release and I understand it's a high price point for a lot of people, but I think that someone looking for an absolutely unique piece, this is definitely one that should be on the radar. It gets its name from the finishing to this dial. Believe it or not, even though you can see those beautiful rainbow-esque colours throughout that dial, the fading from the blue to the green, this actually has no colour pigments whatsoever through the dial. This is all produced by lasers or laser etching. It's being created by a lab affiliated to ETH Zurich, never applied to watchmaking in the past. So this is a first for watchmaking. It is based on biomimicry and that is what creates this gorgeous rainbow effect. And believe it or not, the indices are also etched with a laser, which means this entire dial is laser finished. That's why Aorus are so excited about this release. And it is a very Aorus-esque type of design to me. Obviously, their Pro Pilot is definitely the more conceptual piece of their lineup. And I think that's exactly why they've used this model line to bring this dial to life. Now, obviously, it's not just about the dial today. This watch is absolutely gorgeous throughout. The turbine-esque cut to the bezel is iconic to me. I can spot that from a mile off being a Pro Pilot X. I absolutely love the look of it. The turbine feature to the bezel itself follows through into this screw down crown, which is signed with the Aorus logo. And then beyond that, it follows through into the case back edging. Now we do have a display case back on this piece. And that is to show off this absolutely phenomenal in-house Aorus caliber 400 movement. The specifications for this movement speak for itself. An Aorus backer with a 10 year warranty, that's confidence in itself. That shows how much faith they have put into this movement. The entire casing is built in titanium. We do have different layers to the casing. As you can see, that bezel cuts away from the casing itself and sort of sits nicely inside it. That's an effect that they actually have on the Aorus Diver and one that I'm a big fan of. This slightly oversized crown sits quite tall in between these crown guards and definitely makes a presence of itself. Again, just look at that dial. The rainbow effect through it is absolutely spectacular. It kind of gives me a hey mario kart rainbow road type of vibe to the piece i'm sure you guys all know i absolutely love that the one thing that really does stand out to me about the Aorus pilot x line is its conceptual style look angular and very rugged look to the casing i've said this about the samurai before and i, I hope you guys understand what i mean but it almost has a futuristic type of japanese look to it and i think that comes from the angles in this casing the entire casing and bracelet is fully brushed and obviously 
as you expect from Aorus is really well done. The fit to this piece is also something that will really agree with a lot of us. It comes in at 39.1 millimeters in diameter. I had it at 12.1 millimeters thick including this slightly domed sapphire crystal 46.9 millimeters lug to lug and 20 millimeter lugs make this a really pleasant wear even for people with smaller wrists like myself and i believe it will reach a nice spectrum of wrist sizes the handset on this piece gives me a futuristic sword style aesthetic we have a not black but gray loom center on the handset, I will get to that loom shot. Really thin baton lasered indices throughout the dial itself, as well as minute track. Order's logo etched to the 12 o'clock. Pro Pilot X, five days, signifying that five day power reserve. This dial really is a scientific feat and it is very, very impressive, as is the rest of the watch itself. Built fully in titanium, it, it's light as hell. You hardly feel it on wrist and sized perfectly and thin enough to wrist to make it have a really luxurious fit. I think that orders have nailed the Pro Pilot X. And even if you're not a fan of this type of dial design, they have plenty of other options. I've linked the website in the description from a quite simple gray and salmon dial to the Kermit to the skeletonized Pro Pilot's they have some really, really beautiful looking watches in that lineup. And this one definitely takes a place for something completely different to the rest. Let me get this on wrist and show you how it looks on my six and a quarter inch wrist. Really do love that brushed aesthetic. As you can see, it fits my six and a quarter inch wrist really well. And that is down to this titanium bracelet. It gives me a perfect opportunity to show you one of my favorite features to this piece. The airplane seatbelt buckle style clasp with the lift etching on there and that actuates the machined fold over clasp it just finishes this watch so nicely for me we have three piece links and again we have a little bit of an angle to the bracelet edges themselves and that gives you that almost turbine like feeling once again it's a very aviator style piece a very futuristic aviator style piece i mean it's not a boeing style pilot watch it is not a flieger but i can guarantee you this has come from the mind of someone that has looked at a lot of different fighter jets in their time i really do love this buckle it's just so innovative so smart and i feel like that's what orders do they don't really leave any details to chance they think through every piece of the watch and they execute it to the best of their abilities and that's definitely what they've done here so let me talk to you about the downsides to this piece first of all the actual dial itself isn't always completely legible in all lighting scenarios as you can see it will catch the light differently at every angle you'll have a different level of legibility throughout and it is one that is difficult to see in low light situations as you can see still visible but in a darker setting it does definitely lose a bit of its visibility so if you're looking for an overly legible pilot watch you best stick to your fleegers because this isn't what you're looking for however if you're looking for a more conceptual piece something a little bit more out there something with a little bit of expression to it I think that this is more your type of vibe. Now, finally, this does have a loom signature, but it's not something that I didn't really want to mention because it, it's pretty non-existent. Let me get the lights out and show you what I mean. As you can see, we do have a faint loom signature on the handset. Now, in person, it is much more faint than you can see here. That is down to this being a grey loom signature. The pigments in that loom will definitely take away from the actual brightness of it, which is a little bit of a shame, I think. It's also not exactly what we were concentrating on this piece. Make your own minds up about that one. Overall, I think we can all definitely agree that this is a very, very interesting piece from Aorus and definitely one that will fit into the more expressionist lines or expressionist models that they have. I think that this will definitely have its fan base once it's released on November 6th. 16th. What a dial, what a watch. Orders wow me every time they send me a new press release. And I'm always feeling excessively lucky to be able to work with them. Thank you to Andrew for sending this one in for me to have a look at before release. I hope you're enjoying Dubai Watch Week. Hopefully, I'll get to get out there in 2025. Remember, guys, to leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this watch. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.